Hello there, Clippers! It's now time to hear the week's recap. But before we go into the details, I am Arlie, your host. It's your first time to hear from me. But it's still Trending Clips! We know you deserve a positive weekend. We won't keep you any longer because here are the top stories of your week. Philippines and Japan speed up big ticket infrastructure projects. Asian Development Bank says Philippines is sustaining economic growth. And Philippines vows to eliminate hydrofluorocarbon consumption. The Department of Finance said on Tuesday that Philippines and Japan are speeding up the implementation of its big projects on public infrastructure. Finance Secretary Carlos G. Dominguez III said that the two countries reached an agreement while in a meeting in Tokyo. It can be recalled that the Philippine projects to be funded by Japan is now amounting to 315.4 billion as of the latest update in July. The National Economic and Development Authority or NEDA identified three high-profile projects that Japan is most likely to fund. These are the Mega Manila Subway Project Phase 1, the Malolos Clark Railway Project, and the Cavite Industrial Area Flood Management Project. As you notice, all of these projects are under the Duterte administration's Build, Build, Build program, which is also known as a massive attempt to usher in the country's golden age of infrastructure. More than the construction of massive roads and public transport systems, the Build, Build, Build program aims to cascade progress from urban centers to countryside. This trickling down of progress is seen by some critics and also allies as a prelude to Philippines' transition to federalism. Though Japan stands as the Philippines' primary funding source, the country is still seeking for further international help, especially from China. Just this week, the Philippines' economic managers flew to China in an attempt to win fundings for the Build, Build, Build program. Still on the topic of economy, the Asian Development Bank said this week that Philippines is on the right track when it comes to economic growth. Based on its Asian Development Outlook 2017, which is an analysis of developing countries' economic issues, Philippines' forecasted gross domestic product or GDP can reach 6.5%. ADB goes on to say that Philippines can achieve a 6.7% GDP in year 2018. What does it mean? If the GDP is high, it means that the country is domestically producing more and the citizens are enjoying a higher income. We can also say that the citizens are spending more given that production and finances are in a good condition. ADB's forecast the GDP falls within the Philippine government's target of having a 6.5 to 7.5 GDP this year alone. We've heard much news about progress. We might be asking what Philippines is doing to protect its natural resources. Just this week, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources said that Philippines will encourage the elimination of hydrofluorocarbons, also known as HFC. HFC is an organic compound commonly used in air conditioners and refrigerators. Yet, it is a very potent greenhouse gas and is therefore a main contributor in global warming. According to Environment and Natural Resources Undersecretary Jonas Leones, Philippines is one of the signatories of the Montreal Protocol on Substances that deplete the ozone layer. Montreal Protocol is an international treaty that seeks to protect the ozone layer by eliminating environmental hazards. On October 15, 2016, Philippines and the other signatories of Montreal Protocol agreed to include the phase down of HFC in the existing treaty. In this regard, Leonis is appealing to air conditioning and manufacturing industries to support the gradual phase down of HFC. You might ask, what is the greener alternative if hydrofluorocarbon will be totally banned? Isn't it detrimental to industries? Several alternatives have been proposed like carbon dioxide, ammonia, and hydrocarbons. These substances are believed to be less harmful to our atmosphere. There you have it! You have the trending news of this week. But it's better if we'll hear from you. What are your thoughts on Philippines and Japan's partnership for infrastructure projects? Do you agree that Philippines is experiencing economic growth? And do you think the attempt to ban HFC in the Philippines will be successful? Whatever your thoughts are, just put them in the comments and be the first to start a discussion. For more trending news, just follow us on our official Facebook page, facebook.com slash clip.tv. Follow us too on Instagram at clip.tvph and also on Twitter at clip underscore TV. That's all folks, I am Arlie, your host and this is Trending Clips.